This year I took part in my very own sport relief triathlon where I learned how to swim. Come on, Des, keep going. Drive. There's smoke coming out the front of the car. Yeah. That's fine. And ride a bike. Whoa! That's Come on! Yes! Today I've come to meet an amazing guy that overcame depression with the help of cycling. Not only that, he's used his newfound passion to help raise money for others in need. Oh. David, how, how are you doing? doing? I'm Des. Dave, good to meet you. Yeah, good. Mind if I come in? Yeah, come on. There you go, thanks very much. You often let strangers in your house, huh? All the time. Regularity. <laughs> well, well, you know my story. I only discovered cycling this year after years of pretty much avoiding it. But for you, very different story. Mm -hmm. So you get involved with Sport Relief yep. and you set yourself a challenge. What was that? To cycle from Brussels in Belgium to Barcelona, Spain. Going through eight countries on your bike, how many miles? Over a thousand. I don't know exactly, but over wow. a thousand. That's some challenge, mate. How did you get on? I think I did well. The physical aspect was, I thought, was easy. That's where a bit of training leading up to it, obviously. Right. But your ups and downs on any day are random. I slept at the side of a road the first night I got there. I uh, got to Brussels Airport, <laughs> got a Belgian waffle from a vending machine. Of course. <laughs> and... 30 miles outside Brussels, just found a spot beside the road to sleep. What made you keep going? Probably because I'd committed to it. Yeah. When you've committed to it, you have to do it. Um, but also the fact that you know when you are going through a tough spot in that particular day, you could be out of breath, you could be hungry, you can't find where you're going, you're taking wrong routes. The next hour is a different hour. Yeah. You get there, you, you find something to eat, you find somewhere to sleep and you get there. Tell us what your life was like before you discovered cycling. There was two periods I had depression and getting out of it seems like there's no light at the end of a tunnel. Mm. And what came from it was getting on a bike, getting out, getting there, challenging yourself um, and expanding on it, eventually to the point where you can help other people. That's what's amazing about you, can I just say that, David, is that you've had your own issues, but you're also giving back by helping other people. How did you get involved with Sport Relief? Sport Relief is one, it's one you've, you hear of, you've heard of it. You don't have to go searching, it's on the telly, it's in the media, you, it's got a wide pool. Um, so you know all about it before you even start something like this. The funds that it supports are far and wide. There's nearly a million people in Africa being vaccinated against malaria. There's people in Scotland just up the road um, with mental health issues. Already you're aware of this stuff. So I got involved by just contacting Sport Relief, it was easy. Go uh, just giving page. It was easy to set up and you, you roll with it. You just Facebook it and YouTube it and all the rest of it. So going into this challenge, how much ideally were you looking to raise? Five hundred pounds. Five hundred pounds makes mm -hmm. a big difference. Mm -hmm. How much did you actually raise then? Just over a thousand pounds. Wow, more than double what you intended. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. amazing. What did it mean to you the reaction of those people that donated? It's proof that you've got backing. It's proof that you've got support and that the, the cause has support. Um, some people came out from nowhere who I didn't expect to give quite large amounts. It really surprised me. What I didn't actually say to you was on the way in here, your neighbours were saying, what are you filming for? Said Sport Relief. Oh, David, he's amazing. He's a great <laughs> guy. You're so well thought of. That well, must mean a lot to you. Yeah, to, to know that um, people support you and are backing you, that's the push that you need to go and complete a challenge. Well done, sir. Thank you. Absolute inspiration. Thank you. And look at it this way. You did a big cycling challenge for Sport Relief. I did a big cycling challenge for Sport Relief. Mm -hmm. There's two bikes out there. Are you ready to get back in the saddle? Are you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go for it? Right, come on. Right, come on then. <laughs> Action time. Here we go, we'll back on the bike. <laughs> you, only live, you only live once. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Almost. Right. Oh. Helmets okay. on. Three, two, oh no, I've <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going, France? Spain? Whatever, anywhere. Paisley Town Centre? Oh yeah, that's much better. Paisley, here we come. <laughs> 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 Woo, I'm riding a bike. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>